One of the catalyst moments in my life was at 11 years old when I was very terribly abused, wounded very deeply as a child, violated in, in a very significant way. As an 11 year old child, I didn't have the capacity mentally, emotionally, maybe even spiritually to know what to do with that. So like so many other human beings, I just compartmentalized it, stuffed it away. Uh, the, the human brain has a powerful feature and that is to, to stick in a filing cabinet and hide it uh, enough to where I don't have to think about it, don't have to feel the pain of it, etc. That's what I did and, and many of you have done the same thing. Uh, here's the thing, I didn't realize that with that hidden dark area of my life that had never been reconciled or resolved, that I was fostering deep unforgiveness. In fact, that event and the person who perpetrated that event on my life became such an anchor place in a very negative way that even though I was years removed, hadn't seen the person in 15, 20, 25 years, that person in many ways was still controlling my life. One of the most important parts of the personal healing process is coming to terms with I need to and I want to forgive the person or the persons who hurt me. Unforgiveness is the seed of a, an emotional cancer that will erode away at your health, your strength, your vitality, your creativity, your joy. Unforgiveness is something that is simply not worth holding on to. Here's the deal. That person doesn't deserve to be healed, uh, forgiven. That person doesn't deserve to be released. They need to pay for what they did. Can I explain something to you? They're not hurting right now over what happened but it's totally destroying you. You'd be better served just to say, hey, you know what, I choose to forgive you. I don't, I'm not justifying what you did. Whatever consequences may come in your life because of that, that's between you and the Lord. But I will not allow this to control me. Therefore, I'm forgiving, I'm releasing, I'm letting this go. Can I tell you something, ladies and gentlemen? You're better off by doing that. Jesus talked about forgiveness. And he was very clear that unforgiveness keeps us in bondage to the sin, to the brokenness, and to the person. Don't do that. Look at me. Don't do that. Just choose to forgive. Choose to release. Choose to let them go. And here's the tough part about that. Forgiveness really is letting them off the hook. Letting it go and moving on with your life in a very positive, very clear way. Personal healing is a powerful process, but at the end of the day, if you choose not to forgive, you're going to be stuck right where you've been for all these many years. My challenge to you today is very simple. Choose to forgive. Well, I'm excited to share with you the opportunity of diving even deeper in your personal journey toward building the strategic life you were intended to live. We've been talking about the four cornerstones for strategic living around here for a very long time and now you can access an online video course and the four cornerstones for strategic living book for yourself. If you were intrigued by this topic, if you felt as though you needed someone to come alongside of you and help you to walk out the process of personal healing, personal discovery, personal development and personal deployment, I'm inviting you to visit our website at brianholmes.com forward slash 4CS, like four cornerstones, but 4CS. You'll find information there about how you can enroll in a course of study or in reading the book and take your life and your leadership to the next level. I invite you personally right now to go with me on this journey. Let's build a strategic, a powerful, and a meaningful life together. Thank you.